In this video, I'm going to talk about how capacitors work. So let's talk about how to make a capacitor. And it's very straightforward. A capacitor is composed of two metal plates separated by an insulator. So the insulator could be paper, it could be air, it could be anything that doesn't conduct electricity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach those two metal plates to a battery. And let's say this is a 1.5 volt battery. Here is the positive terminal of the battery, and the left side represents the negative terminal of the battery. And so in this state, the capacitor is charging. And what's going to happen is the battery is going to cause electrons to flow from one side of the capacitor to the other side. So electrons in the right metal plate will be transferred through the circuit to the left metal plate. So once we remove the battery, and let's say the capacitor is fully charged, the situation is going to look something like this. So on the left side, we're going to have a negatively charged plate because there's more electrons than protons. And on the right side, it's electron deficient, so it's going to have a positive charge. And that's basically how a capacitor can store energy. It's simply moving electrons from one metal plate onto the other. Now, let's connect this capacitor to, let's say, a light bulb. That's a terrible looking light bulb. Let's do that again. Now, in this circuit, the electrons will flow from the negatively charged plate through the light bulb to the positively charged plate because opposites attract. And it's going to do so until the two metal plates are neutralized, so to speak. So right now, the charge on this plate might be negative Q and the charge on that plate might be positive Q. But until it gets back down to zero, electrons will continue to flow from the left side to the right side. And in the process, if the voltage is high enough, it will cause this light bulb to emit light. Now, when analyzing capacitors, you need to look at two things, capacitance and its maximum voltage rating. So let's say you have a, a capacitor with a capacitance of 100 microfarads with a maximum voltage rating of 16 volts. If you apply more than 16 volts to charge this capacitor, you could destroy it. And so you need to pay attention to this number. But what exactly is capacitance? What does that number tell us? Well, basically, the higher the capacitance, the more energy the capacitor can store. But for those of you who want a more technical definition, here's a formula that could help you. Q is equal to CV. Q is the charge that a capacitor can hold. C is the capacitance. V is voltage. So let's say if we have a one farad capacitor and we apply one volt to it, we can store one column of charge. Likewise, let's say if we increase the voltage, let's say we apply a 10 volt battery across a one farad capacitor, we can store 10 columns of charge. So with the same capacitor, you can store more charge if you increase the voltage applied to it. Now you need to know what is charge. And this formula can help you. Q is equal to IT. Charge is equal to the current multiplied by the time in seconds. So a capacitor that has one column of charge stored in it can dish out one amp of current for only one second. So that's what one column of charge means. Now, that same capacitor can emit 10 amps of current in 0.1 seconds. So it can emit a large amount of current in a very short time or a small amount of current for a longer period of time. So a capacitor that has one column of charge stored in it 
can give out 0.1 amps, which is 100 milliamps of current for a period of 10 seconds. And so the less current that it emits, it can do so for a longer period of time. And so hopefully this helps you to see the relationship between capacitance, which is measured in ferrets, with electric charge. And hopefully you'll see the relationship between how electric charge is related to the amount of current that a capacitor can emit for a given time period. But basically, the higher this number is, the more energy that the capacitor can store.